One of the most challenging experiments in the lab is to find the focal length of a concave lens. Because a concave lens only produces a virtual image, it is not very easy to find its focal length. Like you do for a convex lens, you can at least estimate its rough focal length by focusing on any very far off object. But that cannot be done with concave lens. So, let us see how we can find the focal length of a concave lens. For this experiment, we need some apparatus. One is our optical bench and we need the uprights for it. Two uprights for two pins. One pin is going to act as the object and the other pin as the image locator. We need two more uprights. One for our convex lens, which is going to give us the real image and the other for our test lens, which is our concave lens. Other than this, we require an index correction measure. I've taken a pencil, which is sharpened at both ends. Obviously, this is to check whether the uprights are vertical or not, and whether the readings that we are taking from the center, as pointed here, on this scale is accurate and measures the same value as from the center of the lens to the tip of the pins. So, for object distances and image distances, we need to take this reading. What is the principle on which we are working? If we get a real image formed by this uh, convex lens of this object pin and use that image as the object for our concave lens, then we can get a real image for that and the distance from our lens to this image locator for the first uh, case, that means using only the convex lens, that distance to act as U and the distance that we have shifted to accommodate for the new real image formed after using a combination of these two, that will give us the value for V. We can then use the formula 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon u and calculate the value for focal length. So, let us see using the ray diagram how this is possible. I will draw the ray diagram for you and you can understand it. To keep the alignment right, let us first start with the principal axis. On one side, we keep our object that is this pin and here is my lens. Next, we find out where its image, the image of this pin is formed. So, let us show by rays, okay, this is the position where the image is formed. If I introduce our concave lens here in the middle, in a new location, somewhere in the middle of these two, this image locator pin will have to move away because it would have diverged it. And that new position can be noted down. So, I will make note of this as let us say I call this position as object pin position. This one I call as my position L1 and this I call as my position L2. The image which I focused earlier with just the three, the object pin, the convex lens and this pin, that image location is say I1 and the shifted or new position with the combination of lenses is I2. So, you can have, you can see from the ray diagram that for just the concave uh, lens, you have a distance L2 I1 to be acting as U and L2 I2 to be acting as V. Just put it in the formula and find the value for F. I have lit the candle and I will catch the image on a screen after refraction through this convex lens. I take my screen and place it here, move it back and forth and adjust for the best image possible. Now I take this concave lens, fix it in the middle at a certain distance from here. If you notice, this image has gone out of focus. So I again push the screen to obtain a clear image. So, what have we done? The earlier position of the screen and this distance 
would be u for this concave lens and the new position of the screen from here would be v you must always remember the sign convention while you are calculating in order to take the readings and start the setup we need to first find out the rough focal length of our convex lens and that is done by focusing any distant object on a plane notebook wall anything and find the focal length using that for this particular lens the focal length is 25 cm next you take your index uh, needle and find out the correction whether the uprights are vertical whether the reading that you will take between this point and the center of the lens corresponds to the reading that is read off from the scale if there is an error make note of the error draw your observation table the first column would be position of this object pin the second column would be position of the convex lens the third column would be the position of the image locator pin so if you have to write it off you can put this as position of object pin this is lens 1 so we can call this position l1 and the corresponding image where we will get without any other combined lens will be my position i1 so let us do the experiment first we will remove parallax i get an accurate position where there is no parallax between the two and that i will make note of next we just put our second lens that is the concave lens for which we are doing this exercise and finding out its focal length so that is the lens we place here let this location be called l2 now having placed it when you look from this side you have to locate a real image and remove parallax once again between the image produced by the combination of the convex lens and the concave lens so these two the refraction first from the rays from there refract first at the convex lens then they fall on this concave lens and produce the final image make a note of this position where there is no parallax at all so now this new position of the image locator pin can be called i2 so your separation from l2 is to be measured first for the location i1 and from here to the location i2 so you have the value for u and v how is this taken as u because the image formed on the first one will still be form that way because the rays are going in that manner so that becomes a virtual object for this concave lens and that virtual object is producing a real image for it because a concave lens cannot produce a real image but if it is a virtual object you see that you are getting a real image over here so this makes it easy for you to now use your formula of course with sign convention and find this value so repeat your experiment for at least two more times get a set of readings find the value for uh, focal length for each set of readings and you can report your result by finding the mean or average of those now what sources of error can take place in this of course the major source of error is the upright the second one is when you're removing parallax make sure that your object pin and the image locator pin are like this that means you are cutting out if you if you have them like this because there's very little space here in which you have to remove parallax so it is advised that you keep the pins in such a way that the parallax is removed in this manner so that there is less chance of you making an error because these distances have to be measured very accurately so you can do this experiment of course your optical bench has to be leveled and uh, if you change your alignment then there will be 
a lot of difficulty in measuring it because it would not be lying on the same principal axis. Can we do any project work using this? One very nice interesting experiment would be do your uh, readings by changing the values for changing different concave lenses, change your convex lens, see if all combinations can give you this result. You will find that it is not possible to just take randomly any particular convex lens and use it to find the focal length of your concave lens. You cannot do that. So you need the real image to be formed. So find from out of a collection of lenses what is the best suitable combination. Another project that you can do is that you plot a graph. What graph should you plot? The product of U and V against either just V or V minus U or just U and see the variation in the graphs. And you can then think of why those variations are coming. And uh, because refraction follows all the laws of refraction, you will be able to explain this in a very nice way. We have found by using the optical bench, a very challenging thing in the lab, finding the focal length of a concave lens which does not normally give a real image. But we combined it with a suitable convex lens and got a real image for it and were able to calculate this.